Hey guys, give you a little overview here uh, of the progress of my tobacco crop experiment. What you're looking at here is four rows of different breeds of tobacco. And I'll talk about them a little bit here. This first row here is cigarette tobacco commercial barley. This is from the Hart Tobacco Seed Company, uh, heavily used in the industry, non-GMO, high yield producer, says it should be up to 9 feet tall. Yeah, these seeds did very well. Big ass leaves here. Uh, you can see how big they are. This is commercial barley. With this whole row is here. And you can see it's starting to flower. Big ass leaves here. So that's the barley. And this row here is cigarette tobacco, Virginia Gold, also from the Hard Tobacco Seed Corporation. Organic Virginia Tobacco Heirloom Seeds. This is Virginia Gold here, guys. Big ass leaves on that one, too. These are more pointy leaves. You can see you know, 90 days old. And uh, it's starting to flower here already, almost. This whole row is, is all the same here. This is all Virginia gold. You know, very hardy plants. Okay, that's that one. And this next row here is Cigar Tobacco Heirloom Open Pollinated Havana 608 from Sustainable Seed Company. Okay, so this is all cigar tobacco. And yeah, each leaf is different on each one of these breeds. It's a pretty big leaf here. This is like a greener color. This one is starting to flower too here almost. Okay. So that's the cigar tobacco. And then this last row is uh organic Virginia tobacco heirloom seed. So another type of uh Virginia tobacco and um, yeah this one is this one is not as old this one is only uh, about 60 days old these seeds came later on so I planted them a little bit later that's why they're smaller but yeah that's uh, that's the different breeds As far as total cost, uh, under 200 bucks. Uh, basically, these are five gallon pots, and each five gallon pot has about three stalks or three plants per pot. Uh, that seems to be a good number. Um, some of them have two, some of them have four, like these have two. And uh, it seems like three is a, is a good number for these to try to get as much yield as you can out of them. Um, like this one has four. It's going to get kind of bushy, but as long as you keep the soil wet and uh, fertilized. And uh, as far as the soil goes, I'll show you what we're using here. So 
Well, I got like a 50-50 uh, mix of this moisture control potting mix. 50% this and then 50% this. So, yeah, you're talking um, the soil to fill up all these things. It's probably about almost 100 bucks just for the soil. Uh, seeds were really cheap. I got four different packs. Each pack was, you know, maybe five bucks a pack. So 20 bucks for the seeds, 20 bucks for the fertilizer, maybe 20 bucks for the trays to start the seeds out. I started them out indoors for the first month and about 90 bucks for the soil. So grand total cost is about 190 bucks for everything here. But that moisture control soil is, is the most expensive thing. Everything else is really cheap. Um, yeah, and I also got these other seeds, which are different. These are another type of Cuban cigar tobacco seed. And um, they're much smaller than the other ones. I wasn't even going to plant them. I got them for free, basically. They're from China. I, all the other seeds I bought were quality seeds. I didn't really pay close attention to where these were coming from so I just kind of had some extra pots laying around and some extra soil and I went ahead and planted them they're all right so that's that's another breed of cigar tobacco but uh, I went you know I went organic non-gmo um, you know there's no pesticides being used here just regular fertilizer uh, you know if, if the insects get to them a little bit which they have here and there no worries I got plenty of it so just trying to keep this all natural as far as the fertilizer goes I can show you that it's just the regular tomato fertilizer is what I read is the most similar to uh, what you should use for tobacco plants Yeah, so that's the four different breeds, plus this one there. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's just uh, the fertilizers. This. Plant food, tomatoes, and uh, yeah, got a few of these leaves that came down. Think you got some raccoons and wildlife that chew chewed them off and they're just hanging on the ground so I just went ahead and started the curing process on these just hanging them up and we'll see how that turns out yep that's the situation guys that's what's going on down here in St. Petersburg Florida in the tobacco farm experiment grown like crazy I mean in 90 days they went from seed to flower almost and did very well so more to come I'll give you guys another update all right signing off